Hey, Primal Punch here. I just wanted to talk about a couple of things that, that I've been thinking about. Uh, it, it has has it's more to do with like this this brand branding of things and and like that you know the idea that something is more valuable because it has a different kind of name you know a different name. Hey there, boy. What do you think about all that? You know, and and what it does it tends to make make people feel inadequate or like uh, like they don't measure up if they don't have this uh, this kind of knife or this kind of gun or what have you. And now, here's the cold hard facts of the deal. The cheapest knife, the cheapest knife will flat out cut someone to the bone. You know, the cheapest knife, the crappiest steel. Um, you can make a homemade knife, homemade homemade stiletto, whatever, and it's it's going to be just as effective in a fight. You know, it's just as effective defending your person. So, just just cut loose with with the feeling that you're not up to par if you don't have the latest and greatest, all right? And don't fall for all that stuff where they throw tactical on the beginning of something and now all of a sudden, like, what? It's better? Clothing. Hmm, clothing. Well, it's tactical clothing. So let's, let's double the price. It's the same thing, just maybe had a little different pattern or the stitches are different over here. Forget that, man, you know? Because the, the cold hard facts are that you're born with, with every weapon that you need. You are, are your best weapon. And you have to cultivate that weapon. Cultivate yourself. You have to have confidence in yourself. Feel good about yourself. Do the things that matter to you. Don't, don't be what you think you sh you're supposed to be when you compare yourself to the things around you. Work on being more who you are. And you are your best weapon. But you have to keep your weapon sharp, alright? Train a little bit every day, at least a little bit. You know, consider a situation that, that could occur and figure out how you would deal with it, alright? Um, learn a little bit more about, you know, throwing a good punch or how your knuckles should land. Um, do squats. I'm a big proponent of squats, okay? Body weight squats. Releases hormones to build muscle. You can't lose. You just can't lose. You know? And heck, there is some study that shows that it actually actually helps you when you're older, if you you've done squats and are doing bodyweight squats, that it, it helps you to age more slowly. Um, it's just one of those those magical magical mystical things, you know. So look, train, train, train. You know, um, cultivate your startle response. Groom groom your fear response groom and own it you know just uh develop like a no boundaries mentality when it comes to your self-defense and offense okay just no boundaries you, you go you go full out like consider cats and dogs okay you never saw a cat or a dog take a martial arts course you know you never seen them train karate but they're pretty hardcore you know they know how to fight and you know why it's because they make their entire body into a weapon it's a series of weapons okay it's a weapon system and that's what you have to do you know you're, you're born with the innate knowledge with 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 every bit of knowledge that there is on on mayhem and brutality and and how to defend yourself you just have to wake it up hone it refine it you know and you can do this you don't have to join some expensive dojo you don't have to buy expensive weapons just do a little bit at a time make yourself a little bit better a little bit better and you can do this you can do it okay so don't fall for all the brand name stuff alright you see this four dollars and ninety nine cents at the local dollar general alright a smith and wesson cutting horse Psh, what's that apparently a cutting horse is made out of the crummiest steel available if i look at this it gets dull i have to avert my eyes when i open it you know and at, at least they made it ugly though to counterbalance the crappy steel but you know what? It's plenty good, more than good enough. You know, meat soft and like that. You know, you're your own best weapon, so be your best friend. If you take care of your weapon, your weapon will take care of you. So that was just something that occurred to me. You know, don't don't feel like you're not as good as 
someone else just because you don't have what they have. Because you have yourself, you have the companionship of the mind, and you're a good person, and I dig you. So thank you for coming, and punch hard. <laughs>